like no reasons to drink. Uh, it's your boy, Austin. We got Tom here. It's me. Black sweater. There you go. And then it's me. the remaining person is still fucking with this camera. This is great. I was getting a better angle. It looks black from for me on the screen. But. Mm. I um, like the way you said black there. It happens. Um, <laughs> how many times do you think we could say, use that same joke? I think that ran out like two or three years ago. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, it definitely did. It's a dead meme. Uh, um, I want to jump right into it. I just showed Dayton my penis. Austin, are you willing to show Dayton your penis right now? Wait, you showed Dayton your penis? I did. Cold birth. I did. I showed him. Why? <laughs> Felt like it. Yeah, no, it was a spur of the moment thing. Yeah, no, I'm not willing to show anyone my penis. Really? Mm-hmm. You're not going to show your penis? Nope. I really showed him my dick. I, I believe you. I just, I, I'm not going to do it. Oh, you shouldn't believe me. I didn't do it. <laughs> okay, well. You but it was, but it was if, if we did it was a nice it would have been a nice tender moment i don't think so I, I would have i would have caressed his little head i'm so, gonna tell you right now exactly what happened you would have shown your penis and dan would have been like oh there it is and then that would you would it would that would have been it <laughs> it'd be over the moment would be over yeah you think? that's what would happen yeah that's i think, what i actually think whatever dan gets surprised he's just like oh there it is I actually <laughs> like every is. single time i actually think that is pretty much how it went yeah yeah i probably i think i looked over i was like oh look at that because i like stood up and i was making the joke like i'm I'm gonna put my dick out and he's like oh (laughs) penis so (laughs) just penis i think that's pretty accurate actually pretty good look i know it's pretty accurate because it's i know my boy date so how's everybody's week been going let's let's catch up it's good i feel like it's been a minute i gotta gotta raise yeah yeah, and I got I got some coupons from for 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 uh, beating everybody else in sales. Oh fuck yeah, dude! Not, not, only, good, dude. not only did you get a raise, you fucked everybody else on the showroom floor. I got two coupons for saving five dollars each. And Can you use them at the same time. Yeah, and some hell lady, yeah, some lady $10. gave me a fifteen dollar gift card. Oh hell yeah, dude! Because I'm the fucking best. How does it feel to have bent your coworkers <laughs> all over their registers and? Fucked them so hard in the ass. It was good. Tell you what. Yeah. It's nice and tight. Did you come the hardest you've ever come? Oh, dude. That night? It's, I imagine your face on them, and I just fucking covered them. Yes. So Austin helps. Uh, it's pretty good, but I want to go back to Dayton. How up? do you, uh, like, what do you do to improve your sales? You got, like, a method? Oh, well, I mean, it's it's not sales. It's a donations. It is was what it is. Donations. It's, yeah, we have, we oh, sorry, um on, on top of our register, we have a counter of like uh how how many donations you, you do for that day, and you you just you you keep track of how many donations you do, and then the okay. your manager will walk by after the end of the day and like notice who did the most. And it's me, of course, because I'm always today. I was at I think, sixty donations, and everybody else was at like two. Well, why, why, why do you think, how, how do you get people to donate? I'm fucking charismatic as shit, dude. I make them feel bad. Is, uh, that, <laughs> right. them feel bad. that is that's different than charisma. My, that's that's a my, different thing. Yeah, I know. That's, it's my go-to move. Everyone's like, well, would you like to donate, to donate today? I'm like, nah, fuck that. I'm like, would you like to help feed a hungry family today? Ooh, you know, I think mean, probably fair. That's a really good way to spin that. Yeah. I got to give you props. Yeah. They end, so this is what Dayton does. I spent Dayton. fucking like 60k to learn the new shit. I'm like that commercial. In the arms of an angel, fly away with me. Dayton, this is that what Dayton thing. does. Dayton, Dayton, Dayton pulls up this picture and he's like, Do you see this? Do you see this? <laughs> this kid this is, is going to die. This is, if I don't this is Johnny. Dollars. This is Johnny. And if you don't give me $5 right now, Johnny's not gonna. Have, Johnny's not gonna have Christmas this year. Uh, <laughs> Johnny doesn't have. <laughs> Johnny doesn't have Christmas. Johnny's parents are gonna get divorced, and Johnny's gonna grow up in an incomplete home. <laughs> and that's on you. That's on you. And the people are just like, "Fuck! All right, fine, take my five dollars." <laughs> that's me every time. I I actually today I I just I just went to Wegmans. We we were out of toilet paper, and I took a shit. <laughs> and um, nice. and I had to take a shower. It's a weird it segue. That, it was that situation. <laughs> no, but I mean, it comes back. Trust me. 
Okay. I I had to I had to jump in the shower and do that. So I went to get toilet paper, and I had just gone to the store, and I saw. Uh, I, I did self checkout and it asked me, "Do you want to donate to blah 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 today?" Mm-hmm. And I said no this time because I had just donated money. Oh, and I never donate. I only I'm donate not- to, to uh, Ronald McDonald House. Oh yeah, I um, because you have history with Ronald McDonald House, right? Yeah, they're they're the ones that um <laughs> saved my life like fifteen times when I died and like gave us a house and stuff when we didn't have a house. Oh yeah, dude. Paid our medical bills. All my medical bills. That's pretty lit, actually. That's a really good thing that they did. <laughs> yeah, no. Without them, I would probably be dead. Very cool. Thank God for Ronald McDonald. Yeah, I know, dude. <laughs> Fucking awesome clown. Love that guy. <laughs> they don't even really clown you're not scared of. They don't even really use Ronald McDonald anymore. I know, really. They really kind of kill him off. Wait, do you remember when they, they tried to do sexy Ronald McDonald? No. No. Google sexy Ronald McDonald. <laughs> Oh, I was—I was also going to. I figured Tommy would pounce on Dayton like a like a hyena on its prey when he said that he never donates. Uh, I want to back Dayton up. I also never donate. I got plenty of that shit. I mean, are you in the position where you can? No. Well, then don't. Cool. I, <laughs> what do you mean? Is it this bitch? I don't. Know. I'd fuck that Ronald McDonald. That's not the Ronald McDonald or Thomas. It's talking. no. It's definitely it, not. That's that. all that pops up when I when I look up sexy Ronald McDonald. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's a Halloween costume. That's not. That's they, not they tried to make no, no. You know what? I'm sorry. I don't think it was Ronald McDonald. It was the Hamburglar. Oh. Uh, tried to bring the Hamburglar back, and he was like that. sexy. And, you know, I'm not gonna lie. Oh yeah, I see. He looks like a porn star. Look, it wasn't like a good marketing technique. It didn't last long. It didn't work. But I, I mean, I jerked off to it like three times today. So, Dude, nice. you know, no, he, doesn't really, he doesn't really do it to me. He looks too much like a dad, like I a hot dads. dad, but a dad. I love dads. Yeah. That's why I call you daddy when we make love. All right, well, daddy dom, daddy dom. <laughs> Dayton, are you a daddy dom? Um, no, not anymore. I uh, my lip. What do you mean, not anymore? I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Not really anymore. I'm already dead. Here's an anime, you. a sexy hamburglar. That's awesome. Why am I still looking at this? I don't know. Because you're infatuated by it, because you are, you're homosexual. Got me. I'm not saying that this is a bad thing. It's just my theory. <laughs> Dude, Austin, awesome. I'll back you up. I'll, I'll be, I'll be in the satellite. You suck that dick. Suck that dick. <laughs> I, say, I need Dayton to be there. I really do. That means a lot. That means a whole hell of a lot to me. Uh huh. Do you want him? To- Look at one more inch. One more. Inch. Yeah. See, Dayton. Dayton already knows. Love is elbow deep, and if you can't. So if you can't get at least that far, and I would need his support to get that far. I'll, I'll push your elbow in. Don't worry, pal. Goddamn right, dude. No, not my elbow. Somebody's elbow into me. Oh, even better. It's gonna be intense. Do you do do you think Tommy can help you, over here? Because I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's only gay if you receive. So you can shove your elbow in my ass and uh huh. A hole's a hole. Practice. Close your eyes. It's all it's all just dark and moist. Anyway, somebody was going to say something. Let's <laughs> change the subject. I mean, was, I don't know. I don't have anything. Did you know? <laughs> right. Do you want to talk about how pissed we all are that Cyberpunk got delayed Fucking for an 18th time? Bullshit, dude. I'm so upset. I'm so upset. Uh, I canceled my pre-order. I'm going to get it again eventually, Like, but I'm just going to oh, wait yeah, like it's sure. closer. But, like, fuck. I was so pumped. Like, I, I had my Xbox all pre-ordered. I had the game pre-ordered. I was like, yeah, so ready. It, it comes out release day. Fuck yeah. I'm let's so go. Ready. I'm ready. I'm fucking pumped for it. And they're like, nope. Uh, yeah. It didn't actually come out on the release day of the Xbox. It came out like a week later, didn't it? No, I thought it was November 12th or 10th it was. No, I thought it was the 16th. Oh, 21st? Oh, or something. Yeah, definitely, uh, never mind. I was wrong. Well, Never mind. It the matter. point is, it wasn't that long after. Now it's in December. Yeah. No, oh, you know what it is? I think it's 21st. December 21st now. Yeah, so that's December where I'm going to Wow, that's very close to Christmas. Fucking three days before Christmas, man. I feel like... Stupid. I feel like... Um, 
It's I feel like they're gonna take a hit for that. Yeah, they're yeah. gonna take a hit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like you want you want to release that shit in like November. Yeah, yeah no. People well, are done. Cri- that, Christmas. That's why like now. everything's releasing in November is because that's when everyone goes for shopping. That's why everything releases exactly. That's why everything yeah, like, releases like, in November always. The, the consoles, all the like, hit games are coming in November. Mm-hmm. I'll be interested to see how they do sales wise. I'm sure that they'll do fine, but especially now that digital gaming is so popular. But true. Um, I'd be interested to see what kind of hit they do take because they were going to own November. They're going to True. own it, and I'm wondering if they still own it, or because uh, there aren't like, that many huge games coming out. Is Call of Duty coming out? Um, Call of Duty, yeah, coming out. yeah. Call of Duty's coming Call of Duty, out. Assassin's, Assassin's Creed. Creed. There's another one, isn't there? Watch Godfall. Coming out. Godfall's coming out. That, that's going to be pretty big for PlayStation. Is uh, Spider-Man coming out? I don't think. Yeah. Isn't it? I don't think that's coming out. Let me look it up. I, thought it, was a launch, I thought it was a launch title. That might be. I, I know Demon Souls is a launch title. God, I wish I could fucking get that game and I'm getting a fucking Xbox. Oh, oh, I mean, dude. oh man, first world problems. I mean, Jesus. Uh, Fuck off, dude. We're not talking about that. I'm yeah, allowed to complain sometimes. Spider-Man is a launch title. Yeah, so it's coming out in... It's coming out on... What, what's the date? November, November, November 12th. This is when all, uh, PlayStation 5 comes out. I got an uh, email today from Best Buy asking if I wanted to make an appointment to come pick up the xbox so i could i could make sure i get it on launch day because i like bought it but they're still going to get the limited they're going to get what they get so i have it it's just like when do you get it so i made an appointment i'm going (laughs) going at like six in the morning (laughs) i would do that 100 percent. i would do that on november 10th i'm going at like six in the morning to get an xbox nice it's gonna be dope jealous dude I'll go whenever they let me go get it. That's like two weeks from now. I, 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 I got know. the Xbox launch and PlayStation launch day off, so I'm excited. I'm so fucking excited about the Xbox. I don't have the day off, but it, that's okay. I'll just play it after. True. You know. I'm, yeah. I'm trying to decide if I even want to get the Xbox, because Cyberpunk was the only thing that I wanted. Like, that's the thing. You don't have to get it right away if you don't want to. If you want to save it. I probably money. won't. Like, in all honesty, I probably won't. Cyberpunk was 100% it. Because I, I, like... Halo, Halo got delayed, you know, and that's looking more and more like a shit show every day anyways, so. True. I mean, there are, like, a bunch of games you own that you can now play if you get the Xbox. It's true. That's going to be a big thing for about. me, the, the 4K upgrade. Dude, I might replay Red Dead. That'd be nice in 4K. I might replay Red Dead. And and a lot of old games are actually getting, like, a, like a frame rate bump, too, like like Sekiro. That's, that's Oh, yeah. Uh, well, Sekiro has fucking DLC now. Yeah, it, the, the, it, it they was, have skins. Yeah, it was, they have a boss rush mode. Yeah, yeah, I actually really want to play it again. I was I contemplated buying it on PlayStation last night so I could play it again because I never fucking beat that game. I it's got true. to the final it boss is. and I couldn't do it. It's true. I couldn't fucking do it. The final I, boss is so ridiculously hard. I love it. It's a great boss. It's probably the best boss in the game. Don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining. I love that game. Pretty easy. Boss. Mechanically, Sekiro is my favorite <laughs> FromSoft game. Dayton's throwing. Uh, shade. He he just said under his breath, "It's a pretty easy boss." It's. I mean, Dayton can say what he wants, but and throughout the community, especially when you go and watch like DMod videos, like far and away, everybody says it's the hardest boss in the game. Like I'm just saying, far. man, I got a third try. Dayton, I mean, you're like, Dayton, when, you're a when that monkey boss, freak, I was dude. stuck on him for like a year. Well, I mean, the monkey boss is actually pretty. Uh, I love the monkey boss. I think he's so fun. But the thing is, is there are some mixed feelings about that boss in the community because the monkey boss is one of those bosses where it kind of throws the general mechanics out the window because throughout the entire game, you're kind of taught to be aggressive. And that monkey boss, you are supposed to be aggressive, but at very specific times and you get punished to hell if you go any other time. So like mechanically it still follows, but it's definitely a, a bit of a jarring gateway boss to say okay boss. i have a question yeah. real, but, but real quick before i ask that question i want to say i know that uh hail of the master chief collection is also getting a 120 frames per second boost in oh. 4K upgrade no. um they're, they're qu- saying it will but that's gonna be like absolute tops what's what gonna be the absolute best it's just like I've, I've games have said shit like that before and they have nowhere near 120 well the, the thing the thing about that is is with like with that <laughs> with the xbox one x that, that we have now yeah. And and the Series X that that's coming out, they mm-hmm. they actually release new modes with the games that come out for you can. Even oh do really? 
performance mode where like you get higher resolution or you can do frame rate mode where you get higher frame rate. Well, they're becoming more like oh, computers, but unlike a computer, the, the reason you see drops in frame rates like that is because the computer, sometimes you're running hard, you're running software on hardware that isn't built to run it that well. Mm -hmm. we're, we're talking about a console that's built to do that. The Switch, I think, runs at 30 sure. frames, 30 frames caps at 30 frames in handheld mode. And it can, if you, you, you can capture, you can see like the frame rate, uh, you can like hook it up to a program or some shit. I don't really know. But it's consistently 30 with some very, like, very, very few and far between things and some exceptions. Mm -hmm. I heard Animal Crossing had some frame rate issues on launch. Maybe, the game but, they, but they probably. No, I'm just saying anecdotally. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that the Switch sucks. I mean the Switch. I'm just saying that I think if they're if they're saying that's going to be 120 frames per second, it's I guess probably going to gonna be 120 frames per second. I'm My question that I wanted to bring up before that, though, when you were talking about FromSoft games, is FromSoft has come out recently and said that the Demon Souls remake will not have, it, it sparked an old debate, will not have a difficulty option, uh, Good. options for difficulty. Now I know yeah. in the past that you said that, but I want, I want to frame it in another way, that uh, there is a, I, I don't know his name off the top of my head, but he runs a charity called Able Gamers, and Able Gamers is mm -hmm. for uh, people with disabilities, um, setting them up so that they can play video games and, and yeah. be a part of yeah. the community. He says that, um, and he's very passionate about it, and, you know, um, but he says that not having a difficulty uh, choice is exclusion. No, it's not. That's I disagree it. completely. Okay, well, well we're talking... We're, you're talking okay go ahead well it's just there's actually a video of uh a disabled he has like no arms like he just straight up has no arms he has to use a special controller and shit and he like ordered it from a website and he got it and he beats without dying i think he beats without even taking a hit one of the hardest bosses in Sekiro. like it's possible i'm not saying that like that i'm not saying that it's an easy thing to do but the thing is, is it's like if you want to play those games you totally can those games are not impossible now if we're you can do that. I think okay, the well, we're talking about we have different we it's a different situation. You have people with different ranges of motion and people yeah. with no. you know You had like no range of motion. <laughs> I'm not with you on this one. I, I'm not I think I, I do think you're wrong. I, I think mean, you're wrong. <laughs> I, I I'm with Austin. I think just like wrong. even people with both like all, all limbs and shit and like have having no disabilities, even they have trouble playing fucking Soulsborne games and shit. Like if, if I gave Leah the controller to play Dark Souls, I, I, she would get so pissed. So I think it's just more of like, a, a, it's a skill-based thing. It's like you, your brain and playing games and stuff. Like you have to well, know then, like when to dodge, when to like hit, when to do, do all that shit. Let me put it this way. Let me put it like this. The point of those games largely is because they are devastatingly difficult. It's just, if you don't want that kind of a difficult game, it's like, I don't, it's just not, it's not a game for you. It's like, I'm not like, I don't want to exclude anybody, but it's just like, that's what the game is all about. Making it easier, honestly, defeats the point of those games. That, that is their, they're all big. The, their gimmick is like, I feel like hard, the problem, hard. like, that's the thing is uh, the problem shouldn't be solved by making the game easier. It should be made. It should be solved by possibly developing a controller or some way that these people can find a way to play these games the way that they're intended and have the experience that was intended. Okay, but hang on. I, I want to pull up quotes from this guy, see if I can find. Okay. But what you're talking, you're talking, um, there are controllers and stuff. That technology exists already. But yeah. you're talking, we're talking about a game that maybe somebody, again, doesn't have a full range of motion, or maybe they're, um, maybe something's up with, uh, they're, they're, they just can't press the buttons in time or something. I mean, I have that is, there, is there truly nothing? 
I mean, tr- you, you truly feel like there's no way. Why is it, why is that a problem putting in easy mode? I mean, it's just, well, it, it's their big thing for the series is just like, it's hard. Like you, you have no choice for it to be easy. It's just like, if you can't figure it out, you're fucked. Well, like, that, like I'm with Dayton here. It's just like, that's, that, like, that's the thing is it's supposed to be difficult. Yeah, Making that's what it draws easier, me to the game. defeats the point of the game. Like, like you know, I, I, I almost – I can see why you'd want to play the games otherwise. When you get got games like Bloodborne, they're gorgeous, beautiful games. Mechanically, they work very well. But at the same time, that, 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 the mechanics of the game are infused so much with the difficulty. It's just like you can't separate those two things and have it being balanced well. Every single game, even shooters, are, are designed for a single difficulty. Generally speaking, normal difficulty. When you change those difficulty levels, it gets unbalanced. It gets less fun to play. You know, it's just – and then when you take some of a game like Sekiro especially, where the difficulty is literally – that is the main driving force for the mechanics of those games. If you change the difficulty, that game either gets way too easy or way too hard. And at that point, I don't know why you'd want to play those games. The difficulty is 90% of the fun for those games. If you're talking as an able-bodied person – and that's you, still experience. You're balancing. Oh no! You but the okay. So we talked before about um, shooters being balanced. I'm not going to pretend pretend to be able to empathize with these people. That would be disingenuous of me. But it's just like th- this is my opinion. It's just like you can think like I don't want to be like an asshole. I'm not trying to exclude people. It's just that's my opinion. It's just I've seen people who I've seen very unable bodied people play these games and play them a thousand times better than I can. So it's just like, you know, mm-hmm. people can have fun with these games one way or the other. That's one of the reasons why I love the Soul series is there's so many different people that can find a way to play these games and get through them based on their own uh, strengths and weaknesses. And it's like, just like letting somebody in, it's almost like, it's almost like babying them, I guess. It's just like, I don't think that anybody needs that. I think if you really want to play these games, you can, you can find a way to play these games. Those, like you said earlier, those controllers exist. They exist. It still doesn't make it easy. It's not supposed to be easy. Like, that's my point. It's not but, supposed to be easy. But it's... Is it, is it not unfair that it's so much harder for some of these people than it is for you. I don't know. I don't know. I guess, I guess, I guess it could be, but I just go back to that thing. It's just like, I've, I've seen plenty of people who are way less able-bodied than me and they do it. Dude, they do it way better than me. People have beaten the game with like a fucking banana and shit. Yeah. And it's just like, I don't know. I guess it, it, I guess the, the answer isn't as easy. It's not as easy as, as the way I am, I am describing it, but I still hold that I don't think the difficulty should be changed. Who said, uh, no, I'm not saying changed in general. There should be the regular mode, but why, why is there, why would it be such a sin to put in a difficulty slider? Well, I don't, it, goes, it wouldn't be a sin. It would just take away from like I don't know the the series. Like it 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 wouldn't feel the same if there had if there was a difficulty mode. Like I would well, just, I, I would see it as every, as any other like uh, RPG game. Like I was like all right yeah I can do easy no easy normal hard whatever. But well, but with Dark, Dark Souls and shit it's all it's all one mode no matter what I I put it on play I like either I'm fucked or I'm not. Well for me I don't it's not even about taking away from the series it just it goes back to what I said about balancing the game and how how the mechanics work especially like Dark Souls is a great candidate because Dark Souls is such a simple game you basically you press RB until something dies it's like if you ch- if you change the difficulty like that like you can lose all of the challenge so quickly and then you also have to ask these questions it's like what what's the appropriate difficulty for different able bodied people it's like you have normal medium easy mode well, that's what if the that. easy mode that you make what if the easy mode that you make is still too hard for some of these people and you got to make another mode and another mode it's just like balancing wise it falls apart and then the game it loses everything that makes it so special to people like me well if it's but then again i guess i just said it right there it's like it loses something to me so maybe that's the problem right there right well if 
if it's in my thinking is what I'm saying. It shouldn't be easy because that's not the point of the game. You're right. Yeah. But I guess that's what I'm worried about. Is people just playing these games because they feel like they have an obligation to play them because they're somehow part of like the video game hall of fame and they're not playing them because they want to be challenged and they want something different and they want to have a genuinely good time uh, overcoming obstacles in the game. Is, is that gatekeeping? I don't know. Are you I don't gate, know. Are you I, gate, I mean, I'm, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just trying, I'm asking a serious question. Are you gatekeeping the series by being, what? why does it, maybe, well, why maybe. does it matter that their experience is the same as yours? Or? Well, no, it's not about being the same as me. It's just about wanting to play the game because you want something different, I guess. I guess that part of me is, is gatekeeping. Sure. Well, I guess I can see that. Who's to say that a person isn't going to enjoy just oh, fuck. playing it on easy? and doing their thing. Why does it matter? I don't know. I don't know. I guess you're right. People are different. I just couldn't imagine playing those games on an easy difficulty. Well, you don't have to, is the thing. It's just why it's Why does it matter if it's there or not? I get yeah. where you're coming from. My knee-jerk reaction is the same as yours, but mm. hearing this guy talk about it really made me think that maybe... Maybe we should reconsider some things or because video games are for everybody, right? I mean, I would, it's not that, well, video games in general for everybody. I would not say that every video game is for everybody. And I, and that is the, that is the main thesis. Like I see where you're coming from. I really do. Now that we've talked it out, I see where you're coming from. I'm moving in your direction, but that is, that's like the final thesis is it's just like, if you don't want to have a tough time, if you don't want to tear your fucking hair out, Dark Souls, Bloodborne, kind of Bloodborne, uh, Sekiro for sure, it's just not for you. You don't have to play those games. Um, at the end of the day, it's like, I think it's, I, I, I think it's okay for some things to not be for everybody, I guess is, is what it is. But Dayton's looking at his mail right now. <laughs> it's sorry, uh, someone wrote on it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, it's just, just I don't me. know. It, it, it's my, my issue with what you're saying right now is that it feels like we're... We're gatekeeping. Not gatekeeping. What's gatekeeping? gatekeeping? Gatekeeping is like you keep people out of something because of X, Y, and Z. It's just like... Um... Like, like, think of any arbitrary reason. In all honesty, like I, I see where Tom is coming from. I can, I can see, I can hear myself talk back and be like, "Oh yeah, that's gatekeeping." But it's just, like I said, it goes back to my overarching thesis. It's like I don't think that everything has to be for everybody. But should everything be accessible, accessible to anybody that wants to try it? I, I think that those games are accessible if they want to try it. I wouldn't, like, I, w- I wouldn't, the only thing I'd say to you is I wouldn't say that so definitively mm-hmm. because we don't know what it's like. True. We don't know what it's like. You're right. I, mean, I have a minor disability, but it doesn't affect Yeah, well, it's a minor difficulty. All I mean, those in- not, to, not to belittle of my what you have. But... In my, in my <laughs> I mean, look, don't, don't, um, don't put down your, uh, we're, we have 10 minutes, don't put down your... Yeah own experience it's a good conversation though. don't put down your own experience it's, it, it's completely fun. i mean you're right you have limited mobility in your left hand right yeah yeah like this you look i can do it faster than with my right hand but my left hand is so very right. slow in comparison you're right i mean think about something else you've tried to do you've tried to pick up playing guitar and you can't finger sure, the chords right like, yeah i can't but at maybe all. there's i don't know man maybe there's something that i'm sure maybe there's something that yeah you said you said there was that like that grip thing for like strings that would help yeah i'm I'm actually thinking about that right now maybe there are um tools you can get so that you Mm -hmm. would be able to play guitar and my only that would be great right yeah be be able to pick up the guitar and play it and that'd be great and my my overarching thesis is Yes, I, we need to um, keep doing this technology, uh, advancing this technology, making yeah. things more accessible for people. That is the end goal. 
you yeah. want you want to get the base to um, the base standing that anybody can pick up anything and play it no matter what. Mm. But yeah, as That's it stands Xbox right, did. as it st- Xbox is great in, with it. They 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 make their own controllers and people can request them. And that charity able gamers um, is also you know great. They set people up all the time with equipment so that they can play video games. And that's a great thing because yeah. video games are such a uh, communal experience now. They really bring people together and for friendly competition. Maybe not, not always so friendly. Not always friendly. But you know it's an enjoyable time it's a good way to escape the real world a lot of people use it as a coping mechanism and there's nothing wrong with that and you got to think that people people with disabilities um might need that more than anybody Mm -hmm. yeah might need that that. more than anybody because their daily lives can be hard um so making it accessible the end goal is to get the technology there, the hardware, the, the controllers, mm-hmm. and everything like that. But as it stands right now, that's yeah. not how it is. Mm-hmm. And therefore, difficulty settings for games like Dark Souls and Demon Souls are a good step to fix the problem in the here and now. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> I'm still resistant to it, I won't deny, but I can also admit, I'm also, you know, more, enough of an adult to admit that it's my stubbornness more than me seeing any lack of reason. Yeah, no, I agree. Like, I wouldn't be I too just, upset if it happened. I would just, like, be like, oh, that sucks. That yeah, I would, definitely, I would definitely be, like, I'm not going to deny. I would, if, if, I, if it came out tomorrow that, like, the next uh, FromSoft game was going to have a difficulty slider, I'd be fucking furious about it. But at the same time, I also understand that it's an irrational emotion, so... I see, I see where Tommy's coming from. I think what we've learned here today is that me and Dane are assholes and Tommy's a good person. No, yeah, no, I'm true. absolutely an asshole. No, that's true. No, no, no. Listen, <laughs> that's wrong. absolutely true. There's, there's absolutely nothing wrong, wrong with having your thing and liking it how it is. My, my only thing is, let's consider it from the other, from the other sides of things. I and, think what I'm most worried about is like people who don't have disabilities – and then this goes back to the whole gatekeeping thing too. I, I will admit this wholeheartedly, but it's just like, I, like if like Joe Schmo over here picks up Demon Souls remastered for a PS5 when it comes out, and then he's just like he tries it on hard for five seconds, not even hard, normal difficulty for five seconds, and then he immediately goes to easy mode, and I'm like, oh, you just ruined yourself such an experience, because that temptation will always be there from now on, and I'm just like, oh god damn, dude. Yeah, it's, that 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 is a fucking curse that's for me. The, like, but that, like, that's like, the when thing. When I though. play a game on easy or, or on normal, and then it gets oh, hard, yeah. there's always that thing in the back of my head. Like, yeah. Yeah, why, why not switch the easy mode? Yeah. Okay. And did like you that. play? Did you play Jedi Fallen Order? Yeah. Did you play it on the recommended difficulty? I think so. Did you ever turn it down? <laughs> no. There you go. <laughs> Good point. I know, but like, what I'm saying is, like, there's, deep, there's always that itch in the back of my head, like. Yeah, but if you don't go you've for that, you've been doing age. this for an hour. You've been fighting this boss for an hour. Why not just switch it down? Why not just... All right. So what if they do this? Put the difficulty slider in, but it's locked. You can't once once you not a slider, but once you choose like this is the normal difficulty. Mean, yeah. This is the normal difficulty. Persona does that. You're yeah. done. You can't you can't change the slider. You're done. There are a few games like that. I mean, yeah. I mean, I, like I it's said, I, I wouldn't be too upset if it happened. I'd just be like, wow. All right, it, it doesn't. It, I wouldn't feel the same. I just I wouldn't fucking not buy the game oh i would fucking buy the game i don't give a fuck dude yeah i'd I'd still buy it the same i just like it it wouldn't feel the same as all that's it it's not even that it wouldn't feel the same it's just like because like that like that uh that that front of mind like that front of mind thought that would immediately hit me if they did that is that they're catering to people who are like you know the um like the ign assholes that come around every fucking four years when from soft puts out a game the reviewers were like it's too hard like every fucking four years it's like i fucking i mean like i think i I, we've already talked about sekiro it's like sekiro is one of my favorite games of all time it's the only game i like more than sekiro is probably dark souls 3 uh because that was my first dark souls and um but like mechanically i love sekiro even more and it's just like with the difficulty it works so well because it forces you to hammer those skills and it forces you to get good at the fucking game there's absolutely no fucking way once you reach a certain point in that game which is very early on 
that you can fucking cheese your way through that game, that you can brute force your way through that game. There's absolutely no fucking way. You have to be good at that game for like the last 60% of it. Right, I get it. I get it. I like, love I love that. I love I, that. I feel, I games feel... ask shit of you. I, games don't do that anymore, dude. I feel super. So I feel super accomplished when I beat a boss in a game like that. When I oh, yeah. beat Jedi Fallen Order, like on it's like the you're fucking coming, dude. like on the difficulty that they yeah. wanted it, I was like, dude, I just fucking did something. <laughs> you know what I mean? <sighs> so good it's just like it's it's like the best feeling in gaming is when i fucking beat fucking the abyss watchers by myself without a summon i just wreck their shit and i'm like daddy's home you know listen that's great it's just we should yeah we should just think about it just think about it all all i'm all i'm saying and to you too is that just mull it over. Does it really matter? It's okay if you, you know you can have your opinion. It's fine. That's not that's not why we're here. Yeah. Not here. Said, you can you can have your opinion. I don't know. It's just my che- you know. I feel like when I uh, do stuff like this, I do do a cheese. Like I do a slight act. I feel like it's very close to my real personality. Your but it's a, personality? it's a slight persona. What? Say that again. It's the cunt person. I'm just joking. Yes. No. 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 But really, though, I like I play it up a little bit. I feel like it's my real personality enhanced. Okay, so we're back after uh, Dayton's really racist and insensitive tirade. I can't believe he said those things. That didn't um, we had to bleep all of it out. That so didn't we had to happen. Just cut. We had to we're cut using, it all out. We're using. Back. We're using Zoom. Um, I'm not paying Dayton, for the whole plan. Dayton will not be back next week. He's, he's okay. He back. will he not be back. Why am I still here? Then? He didn't say anything. Uh, because we figured you might as well just finish the podcast. Have you yeah. seen the Have you seen the clip where the with the uh, <laughs> baseball guy um, like says something really racist before the game and they yes. fire him in the middle of the game? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's awesome. That was funny. It's so funny. Anyway. You had something you wanted to talk about. I do, dude. I fucking speaking of fucking FromSoft games and shit. I started playing. Um, I, I've only been playing it for like you know, a day or two, but uh, Mortal Shells, really cool game. I really uh, like it so far. I have that on PlayStation, dude. It's good. I fucking it love is. it. I shouldn't fucking like knock the computer around and shake the camera and make people sick. Um, yeah, I fucking it's really cool. You uh, instead of like it has a kind of a class system, but you can change classes whenever the fuck you want. You have to find them first and like pick them up. They're called I like your shells. I haven't found any yet. You haven't found any? Not one. No. Start with the night. Did you skip the night? As soon as you like get into the area where you can start. Oh, exploring, the guy the with night... the, the guy with like the, the the sword. Yeah, the original. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I have that one. Yeah, you use your starter show. Oh, well, yeah. I, I don't uh, have any other shows. I also found the uh, like the tank one. I I I, have, I don't have all of them, so I'm not sure. There's like the knight, which is like the basic of the basic. It has like neutral, like middle of the road stats with everything. And then there's also the tank, which I have, which is like the most health in the game, the most power. But uh, whatever uh, resolve is, I'm not really sure. I don't know what that is yet. And then there's like a thief, and I don't know what the last one is. And you just find them, and you use them to like figure out how to like beat bosses and shit, and come up with all these different. Uh, kind of strategies and each one of them has their own skill tree that you can that you can like max out i just it's really cool it's an interesting take on the souls games because usually people kind of copy souls i mean i use the word copy loosely because there's always some kind of like difference there but it's um they usually kind of like use souls pretty explicitly as their uh as their blueprint and they have like you know different weapons and armor and stuff and you can change your own stats and like the leveling up system is almost always the same in Souls like, but this game doesn't really have levels. You just you get the skill points. It just it's cool. It's awesome. I love it. It's super fun. That does, yeah, that does sound cool. I think I've heard of that before. I I think I saw a reviewer say Also there's a Halloween update. True. true. <laughs> it's weird because it's a single player game, but that is it. weird. It's weird shit. I, I think I saw a reviewer talk about that game and he was saying that he played it through once and he like didn't understand because uh, he thought like the bosses were unfairly hard, but he didn't understand that you were supposed to like switch through mm-hmm. people or something. 
Yeah, I don't know how to understand he, that. It's weird. I don't know. And once he figured it out, he was like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's – um. I just th- I just think it's such an interesting concept in terms of, like, souls likes. I haven't played a souls like where it's such a uh, – because, like I said, usually you kind of create your own character based around certain stats. You kind of create your own class. But you just have four preset classes that you can just buy skill points for and make yeah. them stronger like that. I, I don't know. A uh, thing I really like about it is, uh, when, like when you pick up an item, you don't know what it is until you use it. Yeah, that's oh, that's a good point. You you have to use the item at least ten times to figure out everything that the item does. Yeah, which is so profound. I I love like, that. Every game's like you it pick turns up, into like a collectathon. <laughs> I love it. It's really cool, and it because like now it's like, dude, it might heal me, or it might just turn me poison you, or it might poison me, or it's like, dude, it's cool. It's kind of like uh, it's kind of like Skyrim. In that yeah. way, because you had to do that in Skyrim. You had to use items to figure out their effects. That's true. That's pretty For, dope. What was that other game you guys played? It was multiplayer. You could be like a cowboy. Oh, yeah. Dayton, what was that called? So that, that's also a good game. Um, Remnant from the Ashes. Yeah, yeah, Remnant. Is yeah, that a soul like? Yeah, it is. We should actually, it's, a, it's, a, it's like Dark Souls, but multiplayer. We should actually get back to playing that again. We gotta get get on, play that. The child is crying. It's actually really cool. What's the is the child dying? Cry, crying. You crying. can go. Oh. At, mute, you, mute your mic. Go attend to that. Wait, he's not allowed to do that, dude. He I'm didn't mute his mic. Him. He can't follow know. simple directions. He can't follow simple directions. <laughs> How is? Because he's a stupid idiot. <laughs> you all right are you okay <laughs> what is going on <laughs> have you have you been playing any games that are fun tom i've been playing a lot of halo 5 and i've been playing um that's fun i i i, I stopped for a hot minute um but i've been playing mario 64 i want to start playing sunshine but i have like 84 stars in mario 64 and it's like i'm so close to 120 i have to just do it now <laughs> I mean, you're still um, like four eighty four. You said you're still like thirty six away. That's, still, that's a that's a hot few stars right there. It's only a few levels though. It, it, it's oh, really okay. not that bad, except some of the levels coming up are some of the like harder ones that I. Mm. Frankly, I was actually talking to my friend about this the other day, and I think it's a weird thing to say, but I feel like Mario sixty four has third act problems. Oh really? I I, I feel like all the really good levels are in the first and second area. Mm-hmm. And then you get to the third area and it's just like nothing. You know, I, is it I, usually I don't like talk about any of those levels. Is it usually like the the, the term would be second act problems? I mean word? yeah, it's like the third, second act I, it doesn't matter. I don't know. Plays, plays, it, well, plays you, you said have, that like it was a common term in like theater. Yeah, well plays usually have <laughs> two, two acts, acts like oh, modern. Never mind. Yeah, play, right. most modern plays have two acts. I think Hamlet has like fucking four acts. <laughs> like, Should you know, it's just good. an act is like anything before an intermission. So, okay. my my the, the reason I say is third act. It's not a term you'd usually use for a video game, right? But the reason I say yeah. third act is because it's after you beat the second Bowser boss. Mm-hmm. I feel like all of the level they're just like nothing. It's just like. Fucking, I hate Wet Dry World. Wet Dry World gives me weird feelings. Is that the creepy one? Yeah, it just gives me... It's the. I found out recently that people like have weird feelings about it. They just don't like it. It gives them weird vibes. I don't like that level. There's no fun stars on that level. It's just stupid. And it's a water level. It's just like gross. Um, and there's so many fucking water levels in Mario 64. There's at least three that I can think of. There's four and levels. In, oh, wait. No, no, man. I thought you said party. Never mind. No, and, and then um, I think I'm on tiny, huge island right now. This one fucking sucks too. There's no fun stars on it. Um, tiny, huge, are there lots of contrasting island names? Whatever, tiny, huge island, wet, dry world. No, that's just funny that those are the two I brought up. I think because mm, okay. um, ti- I don't know if that was get, a theme for sixty four. No, they start to get gimmicky though. It's like. So wet dry worlds, depending on like where you jump in, um, you jump into the painting. Depending on how high you jump in, determines the water level at the start of the level. <laughs> That's kind of cool. 
And then tiny, huge islands, like, again, it's paintings, but you jump into either, there's three paintings. There's a really small one, a really big one, and a... Oh, I know what we're talking one. about. And depending on which one you jump in, uh, the level will be bigger or smaller or just normal sized. And then, yeah. like, certain stars, you can only get in certain versions of the level. It's, like, it's weird. It's, it's an interesting concept. It's, it's creative, like, you know? It's yeah, really... there's just nothing I... There's no stars on that that I care about. And then you get to fucking... Uh, it's just, like, a slog right there. There, there is a... There's another snow level I don't remember the name of that is fun. I enjoy. Um, but then you get to the behind the next star door. There is no Bowser fight. There's, usually you go behind a star, like a big star door and there's a Bowser fight. But you get presented with like three, two or three more levels. I can't remember. There's... There's, I think there's two full-fledged levels, and then there's one Castle Secret Star that's stupid and sucks. Um, but I'm also looking. I'm looking at Wet Dry World right now, and this is kind of a weirdly creepy. It's it's weird. I don't know. Like Lots it. of blue. I think is. I think that's the big thing. Lots of blue. And like there's that whole there's a whole city like underwater. Yeah. And it's weird, and you know, submechanophobia <laughs> is a thing for people, I guess, like that. Fear of animatronics underwater or whatever? No, nah, it's not just that. It's just the fear of uh, submerged, man-made stuff. submerged man-made items, which I don't find scary, but I find endlessly fascinating. Um, Atlantis. Right. But um, I also have like bad memories associated with Wet Dry World. I was literally, I've talked about this on the podcast before, I was playing Wet Dry World and I found out my grandfather was dying. And uh, mm. I, so, like, when I play that, it's just like, ah, oh, dude, <laughs> it's a rough but, one, yeah. But we got we got through it. Um, but you get to the last area of the game, and uh, you get to fucking um, Rainbow Ride, and Rainbow Ride sucks so much, dick. It sucks so much. It's on most of it's on rails, so you can't mm. dictate how fast the level goes, Oof. and. It's just so easy to fall off, and all the stars suck. It's just such a cunt, all of them. <laughs> That's funny. And it's just like, I just want to beat the game. I just want to beat the game. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry that you have to do that. I, well, you don't have to do it, technically. Well, I, I know you don't have to do it, but, I mean, you have to do it because it's a childhood thing. Right. I have 80 stars. Thing. I, I have 80 nostalgia. stars. I think you can... Um, I think I can beat Bowser. I, I can go to the final Bowser level right now and finish the game. But if you finish the game, can you not? Yeah, you can back? keep. No, you can keep. Oh, you can. It's just like sure. I'm gonna go get all the stars first. The you way I, the, the way I final. play. What's that? You just when those credits roll, you want to be like. Exactly. Sometimes. Exactly. You know what? That would be Mario cathartic. Mario sixty four. The music, so good especially the staff role, the credits, the song for it. Hmm. So <gasps> fucking good. Listen to it when you get a chance. Staff, Super Mario 64 staff role theme. Oh my god, so good. That's an unusual pick for uh, best song in the game. I th- it might be the best. It's probably my favorite song in the game. Not unusual as in specifically for Mario 64, but in general, you, when people say like, oh dude, I love that song from that movie or game, it's not usually the credits... So, no, I, I, no, I understand. It's just super. The only time that's happened with me was when uh, the first Transformers movie, and they had fucking What I've Done by Linkin Park, and I was like, was yeah, like, I was like 13, and I was like, what I've done. <laughs> what I've done. I remember watching. The demons like, I've cultivated. I remember watching like, the fourth Transformers movie with you guys in the theater. And oh, yeah. Being absolute dicks in the theater. <laughs> and Somebody uh, spilled popcorn. Somebody yeah, spilled a lot of popcorn. Sam. Probably Sam, yeah. He was a wild boy back then. I'm not going to lie. Like, and this, this says something very uh, – I feel like this says something about me as a person that, I, that I, I don't like. But the only thing I remember about that movie is when the movie opens up and, like, the hero, heroine – is that the right word? It's like the female lead. Yeah, that, heroine, yeah. I think, I think that's what it is. Dane, Dane backs me up. You know. yeah. Anyways. Yes, but reserved my right to call you stupid. Continue. 
Fuck you, dude. <laughs> you don't know either, clearly. Anyway, she's she's the fucking she's the she's the Bond girl of the tra- of that movie, right? Okay, uh, for Shia LaBeouf. Anyways, the movie like opens up and she's walking out of a room with just like with just underwear on. And I remember when my guy like a little fucking thirteen year old boner or whatever the fuck for that. Uh huh. That's the only thing I remember from that movie. Yeah, dude. She's it's it's hot. it's Michael Bay. <laughs> boobs and uh boobs and explosions. That's explosions. All that I Dude, I don't give a fuck about boobs. She had a booty, dude. Anyways, I'm done being a piece of shit. I'm dude, sorry. at 13, you you were into the booty. Yeah, I was. I wasn't into the booty at that young. I was. I was a man. Of, I've always been a man of class, Tom. <laughs> really? They say you work down. They they do say you work your way down. I'm a leg man now, so I, I've I've matured. Really? I'm a big boy. I've been a leg man for a long time. It is true. Yeah. You look. Like some spideys. When you say, when, when you meet a girl and say spidey Steve? Yeah. <laughs> Is that what you said? Yeah. When you meet a girl and have initial, <laughs> I'm moving on. You meet a girl and have an, an initial of a man. Uh, yeah. It's because of the leg. Wait, can you repeat that? When you see a girl and I, you know, I'm trying, you know. I'm trying like, to be delicate, I know. Yeah, but I, I, just, I, I, I didn't hear, I literally you cut out, so I didn't hear what you said. I well, I don't want to be, I also don't want it to sound misogynistic, but being attracted to a woman, there's, not, there's nothing wrong with that. But the, the first thing you notice yeah. about a person you're attracted to is their legs. Probably, yeah. What about, that's fascinating. What about, um, what, what about it? Why? I don't know. I guess I, I just like, uh, trying to be delicate about this too i guess i just like feminine curves and i i find the uh it's just like the lower body including the booty including the booty is just very you know attractive figure <laughs> that's the best way i can put it i don't know i don't the heart wants what the heart wants listen i don't think there's anything wrong with that and i don't think I hope not. wrong with the way you put that i think you know the female form is beautiful nothing wrong with that Nothing wrong with saying. Male form is not beautiful. No, it's not, dude. <laughs> Male form sucks. We got fucked on that one, dude. If I was a woman, I'd be gay. Yeah, for real, a hundred percent. Guys are like, ugly as fuck. So ugly. It's like all we, of got, them. We, we got the fucking like, little twig down here, and it's just like, dude, that's it's like that's why dicks are funny is because they're so ugly. Right, penises. I've never seen a pretty penis, and I've seen a lot of penises. Dayton says he has a pretty penis. It's a, it's a long-held belief by Dayton Lewis. And you All know right. what? I'm, I'm inclined to believe him. All right, let's see it live for everybody. Don't. No, um, don't. It's going to ruin it. It's going to ruin it. Yeah, it's going to ruin the, the vision. from my job, and it just got a raise, so I don't really don't want to. <laughs> I'll censor it. Yeah, you're going to censor it? Is you, mm-hmm. you're going to censor bar? Yeah. Damn. And we'll age restrict this episode. Don't worry. You can do that? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's not yeah, age restricted it already. Tom, of course. Dane, please don't. Dane, 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 stop. Dane, stop. Dane, stop. stop. <laughs> I've already seen too much. What, what, my, uh, that's what Tommy's telling me earlier. I, I got to ask really quick, though, Dane. Had we not said to stop, would you have shown your penis? Uh, I, I mean, I absolutely would have just pulled my pants down. Okay. With your underwear. Yeah. Explain. Stupid. That's not what I, that's not what I wanted. Yeah, that's lame. It's absolutely what you wanted because you stopped me before you even got to that point. That's a good point, yeah. You got me there. It's almost Halloween, everybody. It's true. Are you, are, two are you more days. Not but really. no. Oh, Leah, no, I am excited because Leah fucking... Has uh, to work. Uh, I can't think of his name. I don't think it's Jack. It might be Jack, but he's coming to my town in Animal Crossing, and I'm oh. ready for it. I'm going to turn in my candy and get some spooky furniture. Jack oh, from wow. Achievement Hunter? Yeah, Jack Patillo. Yeah. No, how do you, how do you know he's coming to your home? Uh, because he called me. He's like, Austin, I'm coming. I'm coming over. We're longtime friends Fuck off. from uh, when you were in like seventh grade and you watched You're our so content. Uh, you were featured. Remember, remember when I called you Austin Mania? Yeah, remember when yeah. I remember when I called you Austin Mania in Fails of the Week that now. one time. Yeah, I can't find that episode anymore. Um, but I'm coming to your town, and we're gonna hang out. We're gonna we're gonna grab a couple of brewskis. Anyways, this joke's going on too long. It's not really a joke. It's just kind of me being an asshole now. Uh huh. Um, typical I am of officially, you. Yeah, typical of me. I am officially out of things to talk about. I just want to talk about Mortal Shell really quick because that game's fun and I like it, and I'm excited Wait. to play more of it. Is he really coming to your village or no? Yeah. Uh, how do you know? 
He called me, dude. He called me. Oh God, I just fuck explained. off. Oh, my God. I, he called me. He, I, I, dude, I looked at my phone he, one day. He and it was like Jack Patillo from Achievement Hunter. <laughs> he, 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 he means the fucking spooky <laughs> spirit or whatever it is. Yeah, there's a spooky character. He's that been comes to your Animal town in Animal Crossing so you can get On Halloween. Spirit. It's an NPC. Oh, I didn't know that. And I haven't played Animal Crossing at all this month. I haven't played um, it in a few months. I was gonna say I'm surprised Tommy played it at all in the last few months. I fucking I... Love Crossing, I, I'm not gonna lie, I have 310 hours in that game over the last so what six or seven. I months. mean, it's it's a fun game. Uh, are are you gonna dress up as anything? Me? No. You have any plans for Halloween? We were gonna take Scarlet out, but Leah has to work, so me and her are just gonna pass out candy. Why? Well, you can take her out still. I'm not gonna take her out without Leah for her first Halloween. I don't. I don't feel right about that. What's your first Halloween? I know, but she yeah, won't even. Yeah, she won't remember it. Yeah, she won't remember. It's it's more of an she's, us she's thing. She's barely a person right now. Are you gonna dress her up? Yeah, yeah. We 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 have a pirate costume for her that we're gonna dress her up. That's cute. Are you dressing up? Yeah, I'm gonna dress dress up in my scarecrow costume. A scarecrow. Or the scarecrow from Batman. Yeah, I was a, gonna say a, a scarecrow from a like... scarecrow, not the scarecrow. Uh huh. Scarecrow, scarecrow from uh, the Wizard of Oz or Batman? <laughs> Dude, the very different. Wizard thing. of Oz, of course, the, the, the scarier of the two. That's true. Is Halloween your favorite holiday, Dayton? Uh, I don't really have a favorite holiday. Oh come on! What's your favorite holiday? I don't really have one. I, feel I, mean, I, I mean, I like Halloween more than the others, I guess. It's always your favorite. It's your favorite. That's the definition of favorite. I, all right, yeah, yeah, I guess <laughs> it's my favorite then. I just, I just, I just don't care about any holidays. Dude. Well, you, you, you like it best of the others, anyways. Yeah. So, so yeah, it, it's my favorite holiday. Yeah. I never understood the whole, the Halloween craze. But then again, I've always been a shut-in, so I don't I go like I don't the, up to the party thing. I like the aesthetic of Halloween and the things that come. I like creepy things. It's true. I don't. I'm not. I'm, I'm a pussy, so I don't like scary things. Are Listen, you there's nothing doing wrong. anything for Halloween, Tom. What? Are you doing anything for Halloween? Working. That sucks. I'm yes. Sorry. He's got a wedding, get... right? Isn't it a wedding? Yeah. I, I'm Ooh. Ooh. It's a wedding on Halloween. Is that not the weirdest shit you ever heard? No, I, people do it a lot. People do that. What? Yeah. yeah it's yeah, it's, 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 it's common. Yeah. yeah it's so very, weird. Uh, do you get paid it's extra for the holiday or no? I highly doubt. I highly doubt it. Uh, if if I worked that day, I would get paid an extra dollar an hour. Listen, it's okay. Nice. I let you know. You okay. resign yourself. I I, I like work, so. I like the people I work for, and uh, I like the job. So I like the people I work for too. You They're know? pretty good people. They ask about my baby a lot, which is nice. Well, that's sweet. It makes me feel like they, they care. Have you yeah, ever? Uh... It doesn't fuck about you, just so you know. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure if I was gone tomorrow, they really wouldn't have bat night. No. I, uh, I'm sure your coworkers care, but it's um it's Danny Reagan like, who doesn't give a fuck about you. Yeah. He doesn't care. Uh have you ever like brought Scarlet in? Oh yeah, bring her in all the time. Oh, that's, that's, cool. that's where we go shopping. So Oh yeah, that's a good lot. point. Yeah. It's the only place to go shopping. Save a lot. Save yeah, a lot. yeah, there's save a lot, there's Walmart. Well. I don't really go grocery Aldi. shopping in that Walmart though. It's not like a super Walmart, you know. Yeah, and it's pretty shitty. Like our Walmart, like it's just, just the atmosphere and the management there. It's just, it, I just don't like it. I do like an Aldi though. I, I went shopping. Aldi's is Aldi. nice, dude. Like, I went shopping at Aldi, Aldi today. Well, Aldi, it's not. It's it. It's cheap. It's not nice. <laughs> no, I mean all these is all these is like the German German save a lot essentially. Right, I saw all the chocolate you keep talking about. Cameo. But it's good Cameo. chocolate in there, dude. I didn't. Did you have some great it. chocolate at all, these dude? Oh, it's because it's like German chocolate. Yeah. It's not, like, it's not like the fucking vomit stuff we have here, which I still like. But dude, it's good. Shit. That's what Europeans say. It tastes like vomit. Well, honestly, the fucking uh, <laughs> chocolate in Europe is better. Oh, no. I'm sorry, I'm laughing. That's sad. What are you laughing at? I showed it. I put it on oh. camera. Oh, 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 oh! I'm sorry. I'm not on my phone right now because I'm a fucking professional. Well, you are. You're on your phone frequently, though. So, just am I on phone when I'm on camera? The answer is no. Yeah, but you're on phone when we work out. 
What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that is you got to be in there, dude. You got to be in the gym. What the fuck? You're on your phone when we work out. What are you talking I'm about? I'm on my strong app. I'm keeping track of shit. <laughs> He's on uh, his app. Well, I have Sometimes you'll be there fucking 18 minutes in between sets talking to your your gay friend. That is not true. Who's a little, who's, tell me you have a little gay friend. That's, That's not true. Gay friend. That's no, cute. My, my, my girlfriend. At least I have people that care about me. Uh, me do you know what that feels like? Do you know what that feels like? I yeah, don't. he does because I care about him. Oh, Fuck dude, off, that, is, that was fucking sweet as hell. Yes, Dane's got my back, dude. Dane's got my back. Get fucked. Get fucked, <laughs> kid. Get fucked. I can hear you. What? <laughs> you can hear me? That's nice. yeah, I, can, I, can, I can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. What well, if there's echo? Um, Who cares? That's funny. So, yeah, I got one person that cares about me. Well, Bitch. Cunt. Tommy also has one person that cares about him, so that's okay. You don't care about me? Yeah, you're all right. Okay. I, you know, I actually feel exactly the same way about you. Yeah. So. Tommy, of course I care about you. You're the godfather of my child. <laughs> how do, how, is that official? How do we make that official? I, 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 we probably got to sign something. I don't know. Now, was I your first choice? Yeah. Austin said that he was your first choice. He was no, he wasn't my first choice. It was you, me. You, yeah, it was, it was you, always me. You, you've been all, you, you've, you've been all about. Dane, shut the fuck up, Scarlett. Oh, Dane, shut the fuck up. This born. is my power over Tom. Austin's <laughs> always been like, eh, about kids. Fuck. Yeah. Oh, I mean, of fuck. course you, you did consider me though, right? You did consider no. me. Okay, well. <laughs> Get fucked me. Get I mean, fucked. Maybe I thought you if, cared. I maybe, thought you cared. I, if you would have, like, I don't know, you, you've always been, like, eh about it. So I just say, no. It's true. You do. You, it's absolutely. You, you are right. I, I would not want to take care of a kid. I do not have that kind of responsibility in me. I'm an irresponsible boy. No. I think you do okay. You think so, baby? I do. You think, I, I you think, think I you can... make a good dad. I think you make a good uncle. Oh yeah, yeah. You, I just need to give your kid weed. And I can well, be perfect I mean, uncle. don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. You can give her like other stuff, like money. Like what about porn? No, don't. Can, can I like yeah, I never her car? Give your, listen, I would never give your child porn or material. weed or anything like that. That is so irresponsible. He would give her fucking Jack Apple. I would so. give I would give her firecrackers. Yeah. yeah. Nice. I mean, yeah, you can give her firecrackers. Hell yeah. <laughs> and I'd, I'd tell her to throw them down, like, in front of a police station. <laughs> just, <'cause laughs> just, start, just start yelling. Make sure you throw them in front of cars. <laughs> and, and, and see what happens. <laughs> and the elderly. You know? Ooh, that'd be a great prank, throwing firecrackers. And <laughs> to an old folks home. It's <laughs> winter. <laughs> no, just no. Go go into an old folks' home. Just start throwing firecrackers everywhere, <laughs> and just start yelling, Charlie. <laughs> just start yelling, Charlie. Charlie. <laughs> Fucking bunch of people going back to Vietnam real quick. <laughs> No, what you need to do, you need to bust down the door. All right, you need to bust down the door and throw firecrackers and, and scream and, and scream like everybody get down and then start playing fortunate son. Why was that to you? Up. Well, I gotta go uh, wake we... up late for work. All right, okay, bud. Well, I guess that's it then. Yeah, it's awesome. in like two seconds. I just gotta wake her up. Oh, okay. Well, go and come back. What were you saying, Austin? Oh yeah, why was Fortunate Son just like the de facto like theme of Vietnam? It's about that? it's about Vietnam. Is it? Yeah. Uh, I never actually listened to it closely. I just I never. The knew. lyrics are like, uh, "That ain't me. I ain't no senator's son." It's about you know people like drafted. it's about people who like didn't get drafted because they were oh, didn't get drafted. <gasps> well, it's about people that got drafted being like. Fuck these people because I'm not. Because like they, these not their war. lucky people got a, didn't have to go, because, um, their dad is a senator or they're rich or something. Oh, dude, fortunate son. Fortunate son. <laughs> oh my god. Fortunate son. Yeah, exactly. It's a great song. CCR. 
Who was That's the, the uh, band? The CCR is the band. CCR, really? Credence Clearwater Revival. That sounds familiar. Okay. They do. Uh, they do that song. They do. Um, uh, uh, have you ever seen the rain? I don't think that's the name of the song, though. It might be. You know. I want to know. Have you ever oh, seen the rain? Oh, what a great song. Um, I like that song, too. And then. Uh, yeah, they have a lot of great songs. The lead singer of that band has the rights to none of those songs. Why? Because uh, I think they got into a tiff and they kicked him out, and he just doesn't have the rights to the songs. Or something. Did he upright them? He doesn't get any money for it anymore. I don't oh, know. I feel so like hard. there was a. I feel like there was a legal thing. <laughs> if I recall correctly, um, he doesn't have the rights to any of those. I, he still performs them, but he doesn't like make royalties. Sorry, lead singer from that band. John Forgety. 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 I don't know. <laughs> I'm talking out my ass. I mean, I, <laughs> what are you gonna do? We do that. I feel like we do that pretty often. That's fine, though. Yeah, exactly. Poor giddy, poor giddy, poor giddy's nuts. Sure, <laughs> whatever. There's something else I want to talk about. I forgot what it was. I've been playing a lot of Among Us. Oh yeah, Among I'm Us. Enjoying it. I've been enjoying it's a fun it. game. It's so good. It's yeah, so it's fun. fun. It's so fun that I just like you. Just game. bully kids, though. Like, that's just all you do. You just bully. no, no, yes. no, 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 no. Yes, no, 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 no. you straight no. up in in a fucking lobby last night. Like I think you won, and then we got back to the like the, the lobby where like we're just like waiting for people to join, and you straight up just yelled in chat. You're all cucks. <laughs> like just like bullying kids. <laughs> no, listen, listen. There's nothing wrong with a little white bully. I I do okay. So in white general, bully. listen. In general, I feel like <laughs> Among Us, the, the the community, the chat rooms, very modern warfare. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> very, they're pretty. Rare. They're pretty ravenous in there. They're pretty. They're pretty rough. And some of it's pretty rough. It's it, like it's like our own personal knob in there. Some of it's super fucking funny. Listen, I think it's a fun game by itself. Oh, it's just like the community interaction within the game is. So fun. Yeah, it's definitely the highlight for sure. It's so funny. The game, the game is way too simple to keep me hooked. It, I definitely love going back and seeing everybody call each other the R word, just like every five seconds. I, like, I saw this R word vent. <laughs> I just like I usually like play a round or two right before bed. I have it on my phone and on my computer, <laughs> and I just play. I, I, I'll fucking play around, and I'll be like, hey, "I like play with you." Guys. Hey, everybody, drop your social security number. <laughs> <laughs> I like to do that. I feel like it's very. My comments on there are very. I try to be like like internet comment again. Oh, oh yeah! Everybody, right, show their so cats. <laughs> so funny, dude. What do you say, dude? Got your credit card number for a free oh, skin. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I will say my, my proudest moment from when we were playing Among Us was um was when the game immediately started and I fucking hit the emergency meeting and I just said I'm lonely. <laughs> I thought that was funny. I thought so, that was a good moment. But I mean the best the best moment from Among Us was Mike. It was Mike. Oh fuck, Mike! Dude. We we Mike is so sus. We got matched with this guy named. Mike. He fucking killed this he kid. Was a, he was a fucking <laughs> asshole. He was an asshole. He was an asshole. Yeah, he called me an. He drew word. first blood, Nana. <laughs> <laughs> and I was the host of the lobby for, for the game, and like one time it was just us and Mike and like one other person enough to vote him out, like just with us. Nice. So we started the game. <laughs> he the game, immediately hit the button and voted him out and he was the imposter <laughs> <laughs> we won <laughs> he said nice. fuck you guys and left <laughs> it was so funny it was really fucking funny dude me I, you and Nick jumped up and started screaming we were so happy I, we fell, I fell out of my chair I fell out of my chair laughing god damn dude. that was an epic moment that was, that was an epic game of solid B it was an epic game of moment. It was so, the Among epic. Us is solid. Among Us is so good. I want to play Fall Guys. 
I haven't played any Fall Guys. I want to play Fall Guys. You know what game I, I that, really want to play? I got it for free on PlayStation. It's on PlayStation? Yeah. I got It was free for, like, the month it launched, it was free for PlayStation Plus. Wow. You know what? My game I actually really want to play. Tell me. A game called Shotgun Farmers. Oh, I see. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah. I've not that. seen that. It's okay. So, like, all the weapons are like stuff that you grow on a farm. <laughs> mm-hmm. So it's like the 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 the, the um corn shotgun is like cor- it's like a corn on a cob thing, and you you grow all your ammo. <laughs> so if you, you you're shooting at people, so if you miss, you're actively giving the person you're shooting at ammunition to shoot back at you. <laughs> That's amazing. And it's just like, it just sounds really interesting. It's like a really interesting mechanic to me. It's kind of um, fun. It's cool. And it looks fun. And I follow the guy who developed it on TikTok and he seems super nice. So <laughs> it's on Xbox now for 10 bucks. Gonna have to pull the trigger on that someday. Dude, support independent game developers. Well, support they're almost, in- all, they're almost always the best games you'll fucking play. That's true. Support independent <laughs> artists in general. Buy, nah, buy. Fuck everybody else. Independent gamers, dude. Support okay. independent gamer girls out there, guys. Well, yes, do support. <laughs> but support independent artists. Fund that movie on Indiegogo. Fucking buy you know. that buy that thing off Etsy. You know? They're working hard. Some of the people in Redbubble are questionable, but everybody else. Some of the people in Redbubble are questionable. Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> It's um, but one game I'm actually excited for. It's oh. ma- it's being published by uh, Chucklefish. Say hello to Leah. Hello, Leah. Tell her we said hi. The, Austin says hi. Not Tommy though. Tell her not Tommy. Tom, tell I, her I, Tommy I, said I, fuck you. I said hi. Tell, tell her Tommy said fuck you. I said Anyways, hi. one game that I'm excited. Uh, one Tom's game I'm excited for. <laughs> we have two minutes again. Yeah, that's fine. This will this be quick. It's also being published by Chucklefish, which uh, which, which published Stardew. It's called uh. Wizard or no Witch Grove, and I think. Oh, because I was gonna make like, a new account like years ago, and then I half made it, and I, I never deleted it. Are, are you? Who are you talking? Dave. Yeah, no, that that <laughs> like that, that, that is like yeah, it, it's, it's, it's really just to me too. That that is me. But. His headphones are off. His headphones are off. You know, we can talk about this next week. <laughs> but that was the podcast. I think that's a perfect. Yeah, no, that's 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 my old. That's I think that's a perfect new Dave, account that I never social. made. All right, Dave, well, social. Stay in. Your mic is muted. Oh, sorry. I forget. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. We're almost done. So, uh, thanks. For, we got less than a minute. Let's do this quickly. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, Love life on reasons drink this week. I'm Austin. I'm Day Cole. I'm Dayton. Uh, I'm Tom. And then the, the last dude's Tom. So uh, thanks for listening. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, we'll be back next week. Probably not. This is like a double episode. So. Maybe. <laughs> Yeah, true. It is two episodes, basically. I think it was a good episode, too. I think we did good. It was good solid. Good work, boys. Good work. Good discussion. I love you all. I think Austin did a good job. Tom uh, could do better. <laughs>